Well, hi guys, this is my first video. Um, I'm Orville Patterson and I'm a computer science major currently at the Northern Caribbean University on the verge of graduating. Now, I'm a programmer and my base language is C Sharp and today I'll be showing you how to build a WCF service in C Sharp and also consume it. So, our service today will simply show you how to uh, read from a SQL Server database. Now here you're seeing my SQL Server database and one of the tables, the tables I'll be working with today is my user table. So you see the fields, ID, username, email, first name, last name, password, status and address. Now these are the fields we'll be interacting with using the WCF service. Now, I'll switch to Visual Studio. Alright, so this is my service. As I told you, I'll be showing you how to write, and next week I'll be showing you how to consume the service. This is a short video, guys. I just decided to take a break from coding, and I just figured I'd do something nice for you guys. Um, well, you guys pretty much know how to create a new project, but for those who don't, I will show you. It's a simple saying, file, new project. You can create a WCF application a couple of ways. You can go by selecting a ASP.NET empty project and then later add in the service. Or you can just do it the old fashioned way by saying double clicking on WCF under the base language you choose and selected service application. Now, since I've already made a service for you, I'll just do it from this. Um, Alright, so here you're looking at my first thing to know is a WCF service deals with different contracts. Now this is designated by then by a lot in the kind of contract. So you can have um, operating operation contracts. You can have um, service contracts. Or yeah, so you get a basic idea. Um, this is an operation contract, and from this I wrote my get user contracts so my contracts are simply function the functions that will be available from my service and this is the function I'll be showing you today um, now my get user contract simply accepts a username and a password as a parameters so I'll be using this to create a login for a Windows Phone 7 application which I'll be showing you next week. Um, now, start off, we'll be using a list. So, the list is of type user, which is generated from a data model I created using entity framework from my database. As you see, I had my user table in my database and I've created a model from it here. Now, the entity an entity of my entire database is also created when I created a, a data model. Oh, sorry guys, I'm just extremely sleepy. <laughs> um, yeah, so an entity is created. So right here you see me declaring a new instance of my entity. Now this is the name of my function, get user on my contract. I must say, and this is the type. Since I'm be, I'll be interacting with the user table. I'll be using the user type. So a type is created. Now I'll be adding this user. The user I retrieved to a list. So I'll be returning a list. I have to specify my return type, as you guys already know. Um, now. After I've selected what I'll be using, 
by saying using first first response entities one entity is equal to new first response entities now var all for my querying for querying the database i'll be using linked sql instead of the conventional sql so linked sql seems hard at first but it's really easy guys so there's no need to be afraid um stop this from debugging um, now you can start by saying by user from x in entities dot users which is my table users it's a user here all right where x dot username is equal to username which is the username i pass to the function and x dot password which is password in the table is equal to p word which is the password I pass to the function where x dot yeah so select x which is selecting the user that matches those credentials on the database and return user dot to list which adds that user to the list and returns it returns that list to the function that consume that you're using to consume the pro the, the service now you see here i've written a few other contracts except most of them are the same same basic type with the exclusion of this one this one simply add allows users to register so this one pretty much just writes to the database while the others read and guys i'll be showing you how to consume this service next week so please stay in touch and you'll have the video again this is orville and please leave your reviews and let me know what you think post your questions and i'll try my best to supply your answers all right guys bye